Hi, this is Gimpfiend, and uh, this is part one of tutorial for channels and selections. Um, uh, when you are editing a photo, often you want to highlight certain sections, and uh, you know if you want to change the color of hair or do things like that. Uh, selections and channels is a, is, a, is a great way to do it. Now I'm going to break this photo up into five different sections. Uh, so this is how I'm going to do it. Uh, I'm going to just duplicate the image and I'm just going to label this post 3 because I'm going to reduce the colors of the image uh, using the post rise tool and has three colors so we're pressing OK and this one is going to have two colors so I'm going to put post 2 Posterize two colors. And you can just see the difference between those two. Okay, I'm going the first of my five sections is going to be the background and the eyes section. So I'm going to uh, this this layer is no is not good for me because uh, the background uh, comes into the section here, which, which is what I don't want. That's why I'm going to use this layer here. I'm going to use the color select tool first off. Now all the selection tools have these four options here: um, replace current selection, add to current selection, subtract, and intersect. So I'm just going to select uh, the black background. And now it has take pick it up a couple of colors which I didn't want to, so I'm going to use the free select tool and change the mode to subtract and just take out there. I want to add in the eye section because the eye and the background are going to be the same color. So I'm just going to use the free select tool but add to the selection this time. So I'm going to just click on add to selection. Just zoom in a bit. Before I do that I'm just going to quickly change to the this layer which has a clearer definition of the two colors. So I'm just going to come in around here. that and this section here so we have the three sections selected now now I want to save this to a channel so I do that by going to select save to channel oopsie I'm going to start that again select save to channel and label that background and eyes. Go to the main layer again. Clear the selection by going to select none or you can hold shift control A down. Okay, my next selection is going to be the neck area and this outline around here and the definition around here. So I'm going to start off with this layer. Now I want to select all the reds and yellows and all these other little colors around here. So a quick way to do that is to use the color select tool select the white and uh, invert the selection by going to select invert or you can go control I. So now I have all my colors selected 
uh, and and except for the white. So, but I just want to take out this background. So, here's where I can go to the channels dialog, and right mouse click, and subtract my background and eyes from the selection. Now, I just want to also get this this layer around here, which is not quite selected. So on this level, I'm just going to go to the color select and make sure that it's set to add to current selection and highlight this color. So that's ready to save. So I go to select, save to channel and label that neck and hair outline. Okay, I think that uh, we'll go to this layer and deselect the current selection by going Shift Control A. And I'll just quickly do one more selection uh, on the Post 2 layer. I'm going to use the Fuzzy Select tool because I don't want to select all the different colors, I just want to get the colors of, s of certain areas. And I want uh, again to add to current selection because I'm doing two sections. So I'm going to select there and here. Save that as save to channel. Label it as lips and neck. And shift control A to clear the selection. That's the end of part one. Uh, I'll continue with the selections. Uh, in part two and and show you how you can use the selections. This is Gimp Fiend and uh, I will continue in the next tutorial.